But he hurt Anthony Hamilton his last fight badly before he took him down. Oh, oh, oh a touchdown! Shot by Olenek! Rochelle is out! Alexi Olenek, the plus 255 dog with a massive knockout here in Austin. How wow. about it? Well, right here, they, they break from the clinch and that left hook just derails the hype train of Jared Roshaw, who looked very much in control of that fight, but in the heavyweight division, any shock can end the fight. Flush to the jaw. Man, two big men, any moment it can be over. What a fight. A huge win for Alexi Olenek. And an open back cut. Looked like an open-handed strike from Albini, followed up with an uppercut. And now a cut on the other side for Alexi Olenek. He's going Ezekiel again. Looks like he's gonna try for it. He's gonna try and fit that left hand right on the throat. Only in half guard, but he'll go for it anyway. He's trying it. Oh my God! Alexi Olenek with another Ezekiel choke finish. You gotta be kidding me with this From guy. the bottom. Cut early, bleeding early, a little bit of desperation, I think. But look at this, goes over the top, looks for the Ezekiel from the bottom, which is incredible. No gi to pull this off. It's basically a gi move that uses the lapel to choke a guy out, and he does it with his arms. Look at this, he sneaks the hand in. And right there, the squeeze with the arms. Look at the right hand of Albini. Hesitates for a second, and right there's the tap. Seven, 11 years after Olenek, Hamilton able to land on the inside. Snaps off a nice jab there. You can see, if you watch Hamilton's eyes, he's squinting a lot when punches are thrown at him. That's a, a major sign of someone who's really just not comfortable in the striking range there, and he gets rocked again by a big right hand. Drain your energy, take away your power. Alexi should look to separate here. So the first takedown is there for Alexi Olenek. This is exactly how he finished Mirko Krokop with this exact neck crank from the scarf holder side mount position. Puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the back of your neck. It's very important now that Alexi relaxes his arms and, and there's a the tap. So another submission for Alexi Olenek came in with 37 wins by submission in 11 different ways. Here he rocks Anthony Hamilton bad, takes him right to the ground and I question whether you should do that, but when you've got 39 submissions to your record, I guess you're pretty comfortable down here. And there's a neck crank, the same one he used in his last fight to beat Mirko Kokra. That's what that was that landed. Yeah, we're gonna try and get a replay of it. Oh, nice takedown defense so far, but Olenek's chasing. Nice work by Olenek to stay glued to Mark Hunt. Over a minute left, too. This That's is not good. good. This is where it gets really dangerous for Mark Hunt. Let's see how he's really making choke defenses. And Lenek is climbing all over the big frame of Mark Hunt, looking to sneak his arm underneath the chin. And I think that this place is about to fall down. Yeah, if you see a rock or a cat fall from the ceiling, we're out of here. <laughs> I'll explain later on Twitter or Instagram to the fans why I mentioned cats falling. <laughs> This is great work by Olenek, but still struggling to, to get under the neck of Mark Hunt. Oh, oh, look at he's this! Dead neck now. Oh, look at this! Wow! What a finish! Alexi Olenek! The constrictor strikes again! So it looked like early on, Mark Hunt was destroying Olenek's leg with these outside leg kicks. But it doesn't matter. All you got to do is give him a chance. He got rocked with that right hand, gives him a thumbs up. But as soon as he clips Mark Hunt, got him rocked, got in his head a little bit and found the fight on the mat. Left hook drops in there. As soon as this happened, he drags him down. Doesn't matter where Olenek is on the mat. If he gets a hold of you and makes you close to you, he will find that neck and he will choke you out. If you don't believe it, you should now. Exactly. But now here, Olenek on top again. Oh, but, but looks so labored. Like even he's moving to mount here. And Maurice, Maurice bucked. He did a good job nice looking. He's giving up that arm. He's giving up that arm. Interesting though, only going Russian style. He's going Russian, style. Yeah. Going Russian style. They like to do that. That's that Russian armbar, that belly down. And he's gonna he's actually gonna roll with it and turn it down. He's gonna oh, catch it right here. It. He's gonna catch it right here and pull it back. Maurice trying to use his own thigh right now to stop it from being extended he's, fully. He's doing a good job of defending here, but now the arm's free. But the the thigh still in play. And look at Olenek breathing heavy. Look at him breathing heavy. Oh, Maurice man. might 
be able to defend with that knee. He might get out of this. Oh, he let it go. He let it go. Morris is going to get out of this. Beautiful defensive no, attack. Wow. He moved his leg. Wow. The boa constrictor does it again. Wow. Fade that man at your own peril. I mean, ultimately, here you go. You get Olenek when he gets on top of you, whether he's in good positions, bad positions, you reverse him. He is always dangerous. And Maurice just slips up for a second, gives Olenek the armbar. And instead of rolling back, like you said, Joe, he rolls forward with it and eventually rolls over into a position. Maurice had his knee defending the arm, but ultimately that knee moved out of the way and Olenek got full extension. You see here, watch, you'll see the left knee of Maurice move out of the way, and there's full extension on that arm. A single punch or elbow didn't work the body, and look at Olenek showing some heart here, dragging him down the mat. This is not good. Also, the difference is the smoothness in the way Olenek does it. It's not causing him to spend too much energy. Right. It's a lifelong grappler yes. against a mixed martial arts. And Big John taking a real close look at Travis Brown here as Olenek gets his back once again. This time with more time to work. Man, that left arm. Just left when you arm. shake this dude's hand, it hurts. Yeah, he's a gorilla. I mean, that's why he's got a longer reach than him. It doesn't even make any sense, but it's because he's got orangutan arms. Not a good Look spot. He's on the body, too. Yeah. He's scissoring the body, oh. trying to cut off his breathing, and slowly working that arm. There's the attack. attack. Alexi Olenek submits Travis Brown and produces the biggest win of his 63 fight pro career. Here's Olenek standing up, holding on to the leg. He's going to lose it, but he's going to use it to get to a tight waist. Now watch how smoothly he rips him down and then immediately gets into a good dominant position, takes it back. Now watch this. This guy, every time he submits people, it's unorthodox. It's different than what you see. Scissors the body, squeezing there. Now look at the, the forearm on his right arm. That's right against the carotid artery. Not under the chin, but right on the carotid artery to cut everything off. Man, beautiful. Pretty good right hand by Pesta. Now another. Right back to that cradle. Now he's done two different cradles today. He did a near side cradle, and there was a far side cradle just to really maintain control. As he's now advanced in position, Pesta has opened up a small cut on the forehead of Alexei Olenek, and you do wonder at some point if Father Time would ever creep in for Olenek. Still going strong, though, at 39 years old. A pro since 1997, now entering his 20th year as a professional mixed martial arts. I mean, this is great grappling, just using those punches to move himself into the mount position, but... He goes! He goes! He goes! Go. <laughs> Whoa! All right. He tried hey, that twice! Hey, hold up, man. Hold up. Another okay. one. Hey, do me a favor. Just sit right here. <laughs> and sit there, up. wow, I mean, yeah. Victor Pesta is oh. still recovering. Alexei Olenek does it again. You see Alexei Olenek get mounted. And for a guy that is such a great grappler, it, it, it's hard to understand how he can be mounted so easy, but it was all part of the master plan. He already has the choke in on the bottom. Victor Pesta starts to punch and realizes, wait, he's actually got me. I thought I was winning this fight. He got me another Ezekiel choke by Alexi Olenek. Unbelievable. I mean, you don't see this very often in MMA at all.